everyone, I'm currently recording this on December 30th, but I'm gonna upload it on December 31st. So, Happy New Year's Eve, Happy New Year, depends when you're watching this. I hope your New Year is gonna be amazing. My name is Tom, I'm one of the developers of Cyber Launch Tycoon, and currently I'm working on a new game called New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. The premise of the game is that the Brooklyn Bridge is getting transferred into a park. The city is now enabling to buy food booths on the bridge. And you as the player, your goal is to buy shops, make sure you have enough resources to run them, and monopolize the bridge. Alright, let's look at the changes for this week. On Sunday, I fixed a few bugs. One of them was that the burger shop roof wasn't opening correctly. And then I started working on adding factories to the game. The idea behind factories is that your shop will require ingredients to serve your customers. These ingredients can be bought from the city or manufacture them yourself by building factories, making the ingredients and distributing these, these ingredients among your shops. So on Sunday I started working on, on the factories, I did the base for the factories and I added a factory counter to the players list. Then on Monday I continued working on the factories, adding all the factories to the list and creating some basic visuals for the factories. Tuesday was one of the lowest days with changes. I added levels to the bridge, so the factories and the shops are separated between the two bridge levels. The upper level will be for the shops and pedestrians, and the lower level will be for factories. So I added that change, now you can switch between the two. You can build the shops on the top, factories on the bottom. There's still some work that needs to be done, but I'm pretty happy with this idea. I also updated the pedestrian models, because as I said, I don't want to reuse the Sinti characters again, because I use them in Cyber Launch Tycoon, and I want this game to be more unique. So I decided to change the, the models, and I'm not sure about these ones, but even if I'm gonna stay with these ones, I'm gonna continue working on them to make them more customizable. On Wednesday I was working on the distribution from the factory to the player's storage. When factories produce their ingredients, at the end of the cycle those ingredients are gonna be passed to the player's storage. And from there the player can decide what to do with them next. And then on Thursday I continued working on the distribution system, I added the logic to distribute the ingredients from the player's storage to the shops, and I started working on the UI. And then on Friday I continued working on the distribution center. I added the option to create orders. Orders are the thing that you use to control the distribution of your ingredients. So if you want to send certain ingredients to your pizzeria, you need to create an order for that. In, in the order you will specify how many of the ingredients you want, you want to send each time. And these orders are going to be executed either by the end of the cycle or whenever the player chooses to schedule these orders. I'm still not sure. It's a work in progress. But yeah, this UI is uh, still giving me some problems. I even tried posting about this issue that I'm having with the UI. I still need to find a way to fix that because this is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, these were the changes for this week. And because this video is gonna be uploaded on December 31st, I wanna say again the goals that I have for this game for next year, for 2024. The first goal is to create a multiplayer game, which I'm currently doing. I'm constantly working on that and making sure that the multiplayer is working correctly all the time. I want to finish within a year, so hopefully, this is the big one, I want to publish the game uh, before the end of 2024. And the third one is that I want to improve the gameplay and the visuals of the game. Because again, when you are working on a project, you want your new project to be better than your previous project, because you're evolving, you are learning new things, and you obviously want to be better than you did before. So these are my three goals. And for the smaller goals, I've already started working on the Steam page, so hopefully in January, mid-January to the end of January, I will finally publish that. And for the demo, I'm hoping to release one during the first few months of 2024 to start getting feedback. It's gonna be either a demo or a playtest, I'm not sure yet, but hopefully within the first few months of the year. And these are my New Year's resolution for the game. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to watch me live streaming the game, you can do it on Twitch. I usually stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays between 8 and 10 EST. If you want more updates on the game, you can follow me on Twitter. And once again, Happy New Year. I hope you will set achievable goals and you won't put too much pressure on yourself for these New Year's resolutions and that you will get them. 
Well, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.